Hi guys, did you just root your Samsung phone? That's awesome, rooting gives you so much control. But you might have noticed that Samsung Health, SmartThings and other essential apps stop working after rooting. That's because Samsung's Knox Securities blocks them once it detects root access. Annoying, right? Don't worry. In today's video, I'll show you the must-install Magisk module that fixes this issue and restores full functionality to your Samsung apps. So, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S23 running Android 14, but don't worry. This trick works on any rooted Samsung device. First, let's make sure Magisk is set up correctly. And yes, Magisk version 28.1 is installed. To double check, let's open the root checker app. And there it is. My device is fully rooted. Now, we need a module called Nox Patch. It's the hero that fixes Nox issues. We will also install some other essential modules to enhance your device's functionality. First, let's install the Nox Patch app. Just install it like any other APK. But you won't see this as a regular app on your home screen because it only works through a powerful framework called LS Post. Now let's install LS Post. So open the Magisk Manager app and go to the module section. Tap Install from Storage and select the LS Post module. Once LS Post is installed, go back and open Magisk settings. Under the Magisk section, make sure to enable Zigisk. This is super important for LS Post to function properly. Now, let's install the Nox Patch Installer zippy file, just like we installed LS Post module. Now, to enhance your rooted Samsung experience, let's install some must-have Magisk modules. First is Digital Key Disabler. This disables DRM, digital rights management, removing restrictions on certain apps and content. Next, install Play Integrity Fix module. Routing breaks Google Play Integrity, making some apps like banking and payment apps stop working. This module patches Play Integrity, so those apps work again. Last but not least, Magisk Boot Loop Protector. This is optional but recommended. If you install a lot of modules, they can sometimes conflict and cause boot loops. This module helps prevent boot loops by detecting and disabling problematic modules before your phone gets stuck. All right. Once all the modules are installed, it's time to restart the device to activate them. So go ahead and restart your phone. Once the device boots up, open the notification panel. You should see an LS Post notification. Tap on the notification to open the LS Post app. And yes, as you can see, LS Post is activated, which means it was successfully installed. Now let's enable Nox Patch to bypass Nox restrictions and restore full functionality to Samsung apps. By default, all Samsung apps are selected, which means these apps will no longer detect root. We'll confirm this in a moment. But first, go to Settings in Nox Patch, scroll down and tap on Create Shortcut. This will make it easier to access the app in the future. Also turn off Status Notifications. This removes unnecessary pop-ups from your notification panel. Now. Close all apps and open the Samsung SmartThings app to check if everything is working properly. As you can see, we're still getting the error. No worries, let's fix it. Open LS Post again. Now look for the SmartThings app, long press on it and tap for stop. Once done, launch the app directly from here. And yes, the error is gone and SmartThings is now working perfectly. Now let's check the same for Samsung Health to make sure it's working properly. Let's do the same process. And yes, Samsung Health is also working properly now. And that's it. Your Samsung device is now fully rooted and all Samsung apps, including SmartThings and Samsung Health, are working perfectly without any root detection issues. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.